Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. I am back for my vacation, and boy are my arms tired. Does the joke still work when you say it like that? Probably not. Um, yeah, so I'm back. I'm back finally. It uh, it was much needed. Like I feel super recharged and super ready to make super videos for super you guys. Here's something that I did. As soon okay, let's. Oh, and there is a. Okay, there we go. Um, oh, he's in the boat now. How adorable. Bang! Oh, that guy. Suck it. I think I gotta take this guy out too. So, um, I got back a couple days ago and I've been hard at work here on this tunnel ever since I'm finally starting to record now. My I need to like repair these picks really, really bad. Oh, I was trying to find the other one. I'm like, where's the other one? It's up here. Uh, this one I can actually just go to the spawner and, and repair using the, the mending book. But this one does not have mending on it. I do have 30 levels. Maybe we'll find out if I can get a mending book or something. Anyway, so. I have expanded this tunnel wider. It was only three wide before. It is now five wide in certain places, and in certain other places it's not. I've tried to make it a little bit more um, naturally generated. I've also, here, let's try, let's do this. We're going to do a little bit of decorating today. I'm going to continue to work on this tunnel. It's going to be amazing. We're going to flood it, and I think we're going to take a boat ride down it after to see if it all works properly. But anyway, so the floor actually goes down to here. I filled it in with dirt and gravel here so that it's easily removed after by my shovel. Um, when I fill it with water because otherwise it's two blocks high and water and two blocks high Doesn't get along very well. So I did that I removed some of the ceiling and made it uh, very much more cave like instead of just having a nice smooth flat ceiling So I'm thinking it looks pretty good I'm gonna leave all this stuff along the side because I think it all adds to the immersion of it But now before we flood it I think what I want to do is just work on let's do the bottom first and just put the occasional, um, the occasional cobblestone here and there, just to make it look a little bit uh, more natural and stuff. Over there, maybe over here, and then once we do that, uh, let's do a block here. Why not? This, I'm not. Mm. <clears throat> oh, I have to keep in mind. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm an idiot. I have to keep in mind the water is actually going to go to the here. So anything at this level is not really going to do um, much. So let's keep it like that. This one too needs to be removed. Oh, that might be kind of cool to just stick that in there. Sure. This one too needs to be removed. So yeah, the water's going to come up to here. So what we have to do is do this. Add slabs up here like so every once in a while just to make it a little bit more. Um, and probably even like the bottom of these things would be kind of cool too. Speaking of which, the cobblestone walls down here or, or up here would be good. So anywhere there's dirt, I've been replacing, well not everywhere there's dirt, but I've been replacing some of the dirt blocks with uh, with leaves, and I think it looks pretty good. I should probably even replace some of them with roots, or or I guess uh, logs, just to make it look like the roots are growing down. Um, so we're going to do that, but it's looking alright. This first section of, of tunnel is looking pretty decent. Let's do that and maybe connect the leaves this way, and then maybe have a little bit of a deeper... A deep relief issue. Ooh, the little sunlight peeking through. That's kind of nice, too. I'm not going to put any vines in here because it'll get messy with the boats. Although, it might add a little... Ooh, hi, guys. It might add a little extra something. Like, you have to sort of avoid the vines to get maximum speed out of your journey, right? That kind of makes sense. Is there another guy in the corner there, or is that just... There is another guy right here. Three of them spawn. They both drop bows. Wow. Oh, there's more. Suck it! Are these bows any good? What do we got? Power 2 and Unbreaking. They were both enchanted and they both dropped them. That's interesting. I have to figure out... Um, uh, where was I going with this? I have to figure out lighting as well for the tunnel. Right now it's just torches. And obviously not doing a very good job because stuff is spawning. But so far it's looking pretty good. I don't want to put too much detail into it. That's always a problem I seem to have. Is going a little too far with things, but let's just leave it like this. And now, I think now is the perfect time to flood this place. So, let's start here. We're going to start in the corner there. Okay. And here. Uh, yeah, this is why this is why I put stuff... Let's get the cobble. Oh, no, then I'll have to use my pick, and my pick's almost dead. Let's just use dirt... Okay. Oh, this is gonna take. <laughs> this is gonna take a little while, I think. Um, okay, let's try that. This is why I put the dirt underneath. 
because I know that this is gonna happen. It's gonna have, be sort of like a big mess. Okay. All right. Um, stuff is happening. Tell you what, these Depth Strider boots are amazing. So I actually ran out of dirt, and I gotta fill in a little bit at the end there, but it's mostly done, and I'm liking the way it's looking. Boop! That looks beautiful right there. I might do ceiling lighting. Just put some glowstone behind some leaves. That might be, like, the best option. And it might look really good, actually. You know, this part over here bothers me just a tad. I kinda wanna... I kinda wanna... Here, let's, let's get rid of that and do that. Yeah! Just so that it looks like it's a more of a root pattern. Um, okay, so let's take these down. Um, and I guess we can... Oh god, this pick is so close to breaking. I don't want to break it. It's my only fortune pick, I think. Like I said, I haven't played in a while. <laughs> it's been... I went on vacation for roughly two weeks. Um, it feels like more, though, man. Like, this was honestly the longest two weeks I've had in a long time. And I don't know why that is. I don't... I like going to Portugal. I like going to Portugal a lot because I have family there. And uh, my grandma's there, plus it was my goddaughter's birthday, and they were having a little bit of a birthday celebration there for her. Um, but I gotta be honest with you guys, like, I go there, and I'm tired, like, after a week, I'm like, okay, I've had enough. I could probably go home now, but then I have to kill, like, another week. <sighs> it's always nice to see the sights, but I've seen a lot of what I've seen already, you know? I've seen it all, is what I'm trying to say, but I haven't. In truth, in, in truth? Yeah, in truth, that makes sense. Truth be told, I think that's what I wanted to say. Um, I haven't seen a lot of Portugal outside my immediate area, so I probably should do that next time I go, but it's kind of sucky when you're going by yourself. I mean, I had my, my family there, but I mean by yourself as like, uh, like not with somebody, like a friend or <clears throat> a girlfriend or something like that. That would be a lot better. Then you have company when you uh, when you ride around and look at this stuff. Otherwise, I'm just bugging my parents like, oh, can we go here today? Hey, do you want to go here today? So, yeah. Next time I go, I'll definitely bring someone. <clears throat> and hopefully, hopefully it'll still be, uh, it'll still be amazing. So this is all dirt before, and I think I'm actually digging up parts that I shouldn't be digging up. Like, this should remain. I'm collecting this dirt again because I don't have any dirt here. This shovel's just about dead, too. Oh, man, I need to go on, like, a massive enchanting spree. Okay, this is trouble. I don't have another shovel. I might have to just make another, like, stone shovel or something while I'm here. Or even an iron shovel. I think I have some iron in the chest that I need to smelt because I don't want this shovel to break. Is it good? Efficiency 4. It's not that good. <laughs> it doesn't even have unbreaking on it, which explains why it's breaking so fast. Look at me just sprinting underneath two layers of water. So, uh, I've decided... Oh, did I run out of space for this? I want all the dirt I can find, because I have uh, some ideas later. You know what? After this, let me just tell you guys right now, I'm kind of excited. So I saw a lot of architecture. Architecture? Wow. How about my English, though? I must have lost some of it on, on my vacation. I saw a lot of architecture, um, and it really inspired me to build something a little bigger. Just a little bit bigger. I don't want to go too crazy. This looks really even. Let's just remove one of them. Wow, that took long. Um, and then replace it with a little bit of cobble here. Yeah, that's a little bit better, I think, in my opinion, maybe. How about we do that, too? Beautiful! Uh, Saddle lot of architecture inspired me to build something in Minecraft. Um, not specifically, like, exactly like what I saw, but it just looked so beautiful. And I thought, you know what? I've got to do something big again. It's been a while since I did something big. So I'm going to do something big after this race is all finished, like after the track is done, which shouldn't take too much longer. I think the tunnel is actually the most time consuming part. Look at it. The entrance actually looks pretty good. Looks pretty natural. And I've changed my mind about the lighting. I'm not going to do lighting above. I'm going to do lighting underneath, underneath the water, because I think that would look awesome. I'm just going to use prismarine lanterns. Is that what they're called? Sea lanterns. That's what they're called. And, uh, and it's going to look great. But in the meantime, let us take a journey. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Can we take the whole... I think we could take the whole journey so far on the boat. Let me go back. Oh, yeah, we can. I think I've got to put some signs up, too, to make sure people know where they're going. Hmm. I think I'm going to put some signs up. Well, here it's pretty self-explanatory. There's really only one way to go. And then we've got my house over this way, which I haven't been to in a long time. Um, I wonder if anything's changed. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. 
This is beautiful. House is looking good. So let's start our race. Oh, yeah, I remember these guys, too. I got to build a couple more of those. I only have one of these towers so far. Dude up there is still alive, I take it. This is going to be a beautiful race. It's going to be gorgeous. There's going to be so much scenery for people to look at. Of course, you've got my little cabin here with the stairs behind it. It's looking awesome. We got a little Moai head on there. And then we've got my welcome center, my welcome to the jungle center. Around the corner here, there's something there. What the heck is that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Welcome to the jump. They haven't messed with that. There's a sign. Hold on. Hold on. We've got a little bit of a situation. Is that? <gasps> that's a Jurassic Park logo. Get out of here. Oh, my God. That's amazing. You got to be kidding me. Is there anything in here? No. Guys, I'm so excited right now. <laughs> that is the Jurassic Park Jeep. That is so cool. Oh, look at this. You got a dinosaur right here, and then you've got the sheep to feed him. That's like a stegosaurus. This is beautiful. Feed T-Rex. That's awesome. Seriously. I know this is probably... <gasps> a brontosaurus, a pterodactyl. Is there a T-Rex? Oh, yeah, they've got the rails in the ground for the Jeeps. Are you kidding me? This is, <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> This is legit amazing. Look at the fences around. That is so cool. This is, I'm, I'm guessing this is like ribs, like a dinosaur ribs. And blood and stuff. Oh, look at the fences and the barbed wire fences above. That is so awesome. Look at the top. Jurassic Park. That is so good. Who did this? Is that a clue as to who did it? I don't know whose banner that is. This is beautiful. This is honestly, like, I don't, whoa. How is that even happening? Huh? <laughs> Wait, what? Why am I sinking into this block? Anyway, let's stay focused. I really don't know what's happening there. Um, this is gorgeous. I really want to see everything now. How amazing is this? This is legitimately one of the best pranks. I mean, there have been larger scale pranks, obviously. Obviously. You guys know my history with pranks. There's been some some real doozies. Some real trouble <laughs> in terms of pranks. But this one is just flat out gorgeous. There's dragon eggs here, like for di like dinosaur eggs. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Probably another egg or something. I like this down log here. I like all this, honestly. I don't want to get rid of any of it, but at the same time, this is not, this doesn't really fit into what I'm trying to do here. Oh, wait, here we go. Di dino, dino inator turret. Use in case of T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Can I get those arrows, by the way? Yeah, I only have 16 on me. Yoink. <laughs> that is so good. I love this i love this i've got to find a sign somebody made this and i need to know who it was because this is there's another one here i didn't even see this one this guy's even got a little spiky tail oh my gosh it's so good i don't want to take these down but i feel like i have to <laughs> oh man this is so good Huh, what was I coming over here for? Right, to do the race in the boat. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. I'm going to leave this here for now. I wish there was a sign. Am I missing it? I probably missed it. It's probably super obvious. The dinosaur logos, that's so good. <laughs> that is fantastic. Okay, it doesn't look like there's a sign. No, what? I want to get a screenshot right here. This is going to be my, my thumbnail. Can I get back far enough? Is there a sign on this side? I feel like I can get more of a... Yeah, there we go. Get a better angle on this side. This is so good. So good. My favorite. Okay. Boom. Screenshot acquired. Let's take our race here. I don't know what this is for, but I like it. And they've even got the grooves in the ground. So Jurassic Park is actually one of my favorite movies. Not even going to lie. It's really, really, like, seriously one of my favorite movies ever. The original. 
all the ones afterwards, not a fan. What is happening here? They built like an overhang? I guess to like house all this stuff? This is beautiful. I can't stop looking at it. I'm sorry. You guys are probably like, uh, okay, beef, we get it. You like it. Let's move. Wait, there's another. Is that the T Rex back there? Like the T Rex's face? I bet the person who built this would have been pretty upset if I hadn't seen this. Huh. Wait, how do I get back there? This is so exciting. I don't want to remove any of this. Is it just the head that they built? I think it's just the head. That makes me feel less guilty if I have to remove it. I mean, I technically don't have to remove it. Do I want to remove it? Is the question that I still have not figured out the answer to. Can I get on this side? I, don't, I just want to see if there's anything in there. Like, I feel like if they were going to put a sign, it probably would have been inside the T-Rex's mouth. Oh, now I have to use my pick to get this stuff down. Nope, there's nothing in here. I love the teeth, though. This is beautiful. My goodness. This is my favorite. <laughs> this is my favorite thing that's happened so far this season. I've done some more looking around. I don't think there is any signs or there are any signs anywhere. But anyway, let's get back to, to business here. So the race will start here. The boat race will start here. I'm not. I'm still unsure if I'm going to start with a boat race or a foot race somewhere. But anyway, race starts here. Go! <laughs> so you take this, uh, this left right here. So far, it's pretty easy, right? It's pretty self-explanatory. Just take the river down. I wonder if there are more dinosaurs scattered within this jungle now. That would be amazing. Take this. This might be a little confusing, but there's nowhere else to go other than here. I wonder. Maybe I will make some signs here. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see if this works. Um, do I have a workbench on me? Of course I don't. Let's make a workbench. Boom. Let's make some sticks. Boom. Let's make some planks. Boom. Let's make, I don't remember how these are made. Uh, that's not what I want. I've always, I just can't, I can't do it. I can't, I'm incapable of making the proper things. Let's make some fences. Boom. Uh, now let's make some of this. And I think if we do this, I've never done this before, but I feel like this should work. I need to like get rid of some stuff is what I need to do. Um, and then like that. I think this should work. Let's get rid of... What can we get rid of? Oh, you. You can get out of here. So, we can have a sign going this way. We'll put it on the shore here. Actually, this isn't going to work with this with this stuff. Just realized that. Ah, it might. Let's do it, let's do it this way. Let's put the sign in front of these. So, what I had in mind was this. In my mind, this works properly, but in reality it might not work properly so if we do that okay and then we do this does that look like an arrow <laughs> does it I feel like that kind of looks like an arrow doesn't it hey what if we remove this <laughs> this doesn't really look like an arrow it just looks like something else does it look like an arrow <laughs> all right well um let's just leave that there for now we'll figure out how to make a better i mean that's about as good an arrow as you're gonna get i think in this game there are no slopes so what else could i possibly do i i, I think actually this this way it does look better like that, it probably looks more like an arrow. The way it is now, it kind of looks round. We don't want round. We don't want a round tip. We want a nice, jagged tip. That's right. You heard me. All right, so we're going this way. It's turning nighttime, too. We're going this way. Again, the arrow is pointing this direction. There's nowhere to go here other than following the river. Hopefully, people don't get lost. Um, this should be turning on soon because I got a daylight sensor. Maybe it is on. I can't even tell. So we're going this way. Again, nowhere to go other than to follow the river. No arrows necessary here. Or here. Um, that is on. You can barely see the light coming through there. 
It's, in fact, it's not even coming through the bottom. Hmm. That's weird. That is on. Here, somebody might turn this way, but again, no river, so they'll have to turn around. I guess it's all about, it's all about paying attention. Here, I think, is where I need an arrow. Because there's, like, a huge little pond here. I feel like I need an arrow pointing this way to the tunnel. And here we go, guys. Our first journey through the tunnel. I should have stopped at my place and gotten those sea lanterns. So we enter right through here. Ooh, this is a tight squeeze. This is going to be where, where races are won and lost. I saw a bit of uh, water there that needs to be filled in. Man, all that work that I just had for, like, the smallest little amount of tunnel. Here is where people are going to get stuck. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. That's actually pretty good. How about those dinosaurs, though? For real. That's amazing. I got the sea lanterns. I think I was just going to put sea lanterns, but I think I'm going to put some blue stained glass above them. Just because I don't think I've ever used, like, the regular blue stained glass. <laughs> and I want to use it. Is this guy still alive? Oh, he sure is. I can hear him. I need to get in there without him freaking right out. Um, let's just be prepared. So what I'm going to do is... Um, that's good enough. Is enchant this thing. Or, or try to enchant the book. Let's see what I get with the book. Where's the book? What would that efficiency for? Projectile protection, knockback efficiency for. I think I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to like make a pick. Well, crap. Guess what I'm going to make right now instead of a pick? Another workbench. Yep. What's my workbench count at now? Like 75 workbenches? Probably 75 workbenches. Here's my pick. And now we're going to enchant it. If silk touch and efficiency, that's pretty good. Although, I mean, I got two silk touch picks now. Uh, I still need a fortune pick. I still need a fortune pick. Hmm. I got 27 levels. Let's see how much it would cost to just repair it. Like straight up repair it. And we could probably throw this workbench out because we have a million of them. I still need to like do... I have to find a way to trap the dude in there. You know, I don't want him to come out, but I want him to be free inside the cave. I don't want him to leave, though. I wish you could assign areas to villagers. There's another workbench. <laughs> Let's get this out of here. I think we might have to replace some of these, too. This is getting a little bit ridiculous. Although I don't come down here often, so maybe having a bunch of vines is not a bad idea. It shows that I don't come down here often. All right. How many workbenches do I even have in here? Only nine. That's surprising. So, um, hmm, I would need diamonds. Oh, man, I only have four diamonds? You know what that means. It's time for another caving run soon, which I am a fan of. How much would it take to... Seven. Uh, I might as well. Boom, it's done. It's done. I know you guys are like, oh, my God, baby. Should I just enchanted some books or something? I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm not as good a player as you guys are. Let's get this dirt in here. Uh, let's, let's separate this. this is a, that's coarse dirt there. Yeah, my new project, I think, is going to have a lot of dirt on it. I'm going to try to build it in the jungle. We have a whole lot. Speaking of which, let's go over here. Do I have that map on me? I do. Let's go over here and look at the map again because I kind of have to pick a spot for it. Dang it. Oh, you're on fire now, huh? Yeah, that's unfortunate. I have to pick a spot for it. I need a pretty big amount of space, but not a massive amount. There's the piece of map that I took with me. Boop. Okay, so everybody's up here. Like, that's Doc's thing. My thing is right here. We got the jungle entrance there. This is the path around the river. The tunnel is... Where the heck is the tunnel? Where is the tunnel? I think the tunnel's here. And then it comes around through here and would come out at some point there. But anyway, I think maybe. That's Ethos thing there. There's a big spot. Oh, there's something there too. That might be a jungle temple though. There's a big spot here. I like that. I'm not going to build it this big. But there's a lot of real estate there. There's also a lot. I don't want to go too far either. Over here is a good spot. Anyway, we'll pick a spot later. First and foremost, I want to finish what I start. Let's get back to that tunnel and at least put in the lighting for that first half of the tunnel. So there's the blue glass. It looks pretty good from below, or sorry, from above the water. It's just a subtle hint of blue. I just wanted something different, man. I never use blue glass. I, I rarely use stained glass, but that might change with my project. <laughs> I do have something in mind 
Um, I've never done it before, and I've always wanted to, but there's so many things in this game that I've always wanted to do that I've never done before. So that's not that shouldn't come as too much of a surprise. Um, I'm not spacing these out in any particular order. I'm just putting them down as I see fit. Um, you know, there's certain spots down here that I'd like to maybe just carve a few holes into so that it's not a completely flat bottom. You know, nobody likes a flat bottom. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right, down we go. I don't think I'll need this many either, but um, this is looking nice. Oh, here's that place that I wanted to fix that I forgot to fix. There we go. Oh, is that going to... That's going to mess it up. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. There we go. No longer messed up. What else we got? Maybe one here. All done. We've got some lighting done around here, and it's looking really nice. This tunnel is pretty much complete now, I think. Yeah, I think I'm just going to carve out a few little spots here and there from the bottom of the of the river bed or the tunnel bed. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, but other than that, I think we're done. And I think I want to be done with this episode, guys. I'm really, really excited to get back in the groove of things I'm, I've, I'm inspired. You know, it's always good to take time off. Sometimes you need, you need to just recharge your batteries. And I feel like my batteries have been recharged. I hope I hope they have anyway. We'll see how it goes. I also plan on playing a bunch of new games. And Life is Strange Episode 2, like Part 2 of that game, is coming out soon. I believe it's August 31st. Super excited to actually play that. Like, really excited to play that. And Minecraft Story Mode um, just released Part 2 of their uh, Season 2. It's These episodes and seasons and stuff are getting a little bit confusing. Um, but I've already started playing that by the time you see this, I think. I think. Um, but if you haven't seen it, then uh, then go and check it out. It's a pretty good season. There's a whole new enemy called the Admin. <laughs> He's kind of creepy. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you in the next one as I continue to add pointless details. I didn't repair my shovel. I forgot about that. Pointless details to this little build. But it all adds character. I think it's important. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thumbs up for those uh, dinosaurs, though. Man, I really want to find out who built them because I want to congratulate them on a job well done.